Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I make my own oil color paint. Despite the fact that there are currently a lot of quality suppliers of oil paints on the market, from time to time I make my own paint, especially for my underpaintings with the burnt umber color. Wondering why? First of all, it is uh, quite a bit of fun and during the preparation I feel like an old master painter. Hello! As you probably know, they also prepare their own colors in their studio. But seriously now, what I like most is that during the color production process I can adjust the amount of pigment and the consistency of the color as needed. Unlike factory produced paints, handmade paint have great fluidity and due to the amount of pigment, they react better when I'm blending. The level of concentration of pigment in a particular paint also has a direct impact on the durability of the paint's film. At the same time, I can be sure that the paint does not contain various additives which are occasionally added to colors and which then reduce the quality of the paint. Making your own paint isn't that complicated, but if you are not careful, the process can be pretty messy, so be sure that you have enough paper towels nearby before you start. Okay, for making a paint I'm gonna need these few tools. Glass muller for grinding, glass palette, binder which in my case is linseed oil, burnt umber pigment and at least two palette knives. First, place the required amount of pigment on glass palette. Then carefully add a small amount of oil to the pigment. Be careful not to add too much oil, otherwise the paint will be too fluid. Now slowly mix the pile with a palette knife, because in this stage you will need to rid off any dry pigment before grinding. Now grab the muller and with reasonable pressure spread the paint over the glass for a few minutes. After a few minutes of grinding with the glass muller, the paint is ready for use and if you want, of course, you can store the color in empty tube. 
I don't know about you, my friends, but when I look at it, I get a giant taste for chocolate. So I'm going to kitchen to see if I can find one. That's all for today. I hope you will find the video useful and I look forward to seeing you at the next video workshop. I'm currently working and it will be soon ready for free on my YouTube channel. Take care and see you later. Bye bye.